Hey, it's Nicholas back in today. Yes, we're all better and well now, nearly sort of thing, sort of thing. Anyway, uh, today we have for you Descent OS 3.0.2. It's the legacy version, yeah, the legacy version, which means it works rather, rather well. Still based on Ubuntu, okay, it's still based on Ubuntu, although he's going over to Debian as far as I'm aware, like I said last time, okay? So I thought get that out of the way first. Released a couple of days ago, so you should be able to go and get it and give it a go. It's only 32-bit at the moment, okay? But he does want to do a 64-bit version. This is only a really quick version of it, because I've done quite a few on Descent OS, but if you're looking for a distro and want it to be a little bit different with other stuff, Descent OS could be for you. If you don't want Unity, you don't want other stuff like that, this is for you, all right? Okay, quickly look for it. It's only a real quick one. We're not doing a long one on this. We have Docky as our little bar over here. So we have Docky. So hello, Docky. Firefox as your main browser. Pigeon, of course. Then we've got the Descent OS Software Center. I'm going to open it up for you just so you can see what it's like. And while you're doing that, I'll have a bit of drinkage. Hang on a second. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's what I want it. Oh, it's installed, by the way. But... Now, this is the, the Lubuntu software center, I would say. It looks more like Lubuntu than the one the old Linux Mint uses, or used to use. But yeah, more Lubuntu style or LXDE. Does everything you want, so no big deal. So if I go to audio, just for instance, and we find something there. There's plenty there for you can play around with. Shall I bother doing one for you? I shouldn't have to, really, because it's so easy to do, isn't it? But you know, as it's you, yeah, yeah no, listen, as it's you, I'm going to do that. We're going to go and get Avid Emux, okay? So we're going to add our app to the basket. That's QT, by the way. We don't want that. We want GTK. Silly me. Okay. Add apps to the basket. Okay, that's all right. Go to our basket. Hello, basket. We want to install them packages, don't we? And all you do is click on install. And in theory, in theory, yes, it should ask my password, which I'm going to type in for you. So, and here we go. Here we go. should start downloading now, nice and quickly, because my internet connection is rather nice. Day. It's been really nice to me. Yes, it is. It's applying the changes. If you want to see what changes are going down, you can just open up there and have a look if you want. There we go. Read no database. Zum -zum 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 -zum. It doesn't take too long. Look, nice and quick. Lovely. Remember, you do have to have it installed as extra packages, really. Okay? Otherwise, it's not worth it. When you're installing, I'd have to do some updates. There's around about 40 megabytes of updates to do. Remember, it's based on Ubuntu still uh, to have a long term release, as far as I'm aware. Okay? I don't think he's gone over to the next one yet. But hey, good old Brian, hey? Hey, Brian, yeah, yeah, Brian. And no, he is not the snail. No, he's not. And apparently, it's successfully installed. So I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. Now, we've got two ways of going to a menu here. We can use Slingshot, which is up here. So I'll click it once. You get this version. But no miss, isn't it? Go number two, number three. And if you don't do that, you don't have to do that. Or we can go to the usual menu as it's Mate 1.4, so it's nice and stable. The reason why he's released this is to make it stable, stability, because some things weren't working in Descent OS, was they? I did say a couple of them before, and one was Pulse wasn't working correctly at some stage. Uh, Jockey wasn't working either. Oh, yeah, don't tell me about them, but it's all fixed now, and I'll show you a minute when we go to his blog page and a quick look. I can see Avid Emux is here as we're using it. It's a really basic video editor. I used to use it all the time. I still do occasionally, but not a lot, all right? Not a lot. So give it that. Right. While we're at the menu, I'll use the mate menu today. I'll just quickly go through some stuff. We've got Guatamana, my five, like Guatamana. Just a couple of games. If you want more games, you can go and get them yourself. There's no big deal, really, is it? No, it's not. Under graphics, you get I have mate image view. And you get a bit of Gimpage, which should be the most current one. Shot well for your photos. It comes with the full LibreOffice suite, as far as I'm aware, and I think it does. Claws mail for your mail. If you don't like claws mail, get Chunderbird, you know, it's up to you. Under Office, yes, of course, full LibreOffice. I won't bother opening it because you know what it looks like, and it's a really small, quickie one, okay? His music player, which is one of my faves, is Guadalcure. Yeah, Guadalcure. Really, really, really nice. Between Guadalcure and Clementine, I'm tired, really, although I still do like Rhythm Box because it does what it says on my tin, okay? Under System Tools, you do get Bleach Bitch. Did I say Bleach Bitch? Bleach Bit. <laughs> it's been done. Okay, open Bleach Bit up for you. And basically, you can clean out stuff in your file system. If you don't know what you're doing, don't use it, all right? That's all I'm going to say. But if you just want to do a quick auto-clean and get rid of some cookies and stuff, it's ideal, you know? It's all right to do it like that. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Go to Places, it's all usual there, and go to System. If you go to Preferences, as you can see, install your additional drivers, that's nice. Check out your Bluetooth. Check out your monitor stuff. Nice, nice. Some QT settings there as well. 
Network Administration, Software Center here, Services, Shared Folders, Synaptic Package Manager, that's us oldie fuddy duddies who aren't using it, okay? We don't want to go complete terminal. I'll check about about mate for you. Just tells you about mate. Yeah. It's mate, isn't it? It's your mate. Yeah. I'll go up to Slingshot one more time. Okay, we'll open him up. Some people may prefer using this. My wife uses it on the next minute, so yeah, it's all right for her. No, no big deal. Not for me, but some people like it. I'll open the system monitor up for you. And there we go. Now, see what's doing since it's updated. No, it's fine since it's updated. Super dupery, lovely, lovely chappily. Look, not using much CPU or RAM really. It's more than I would normally expect it to use. But it might be just this addition. I don't know. But hey, it runs all right as long as you've got a decent CPU. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, So anyway, Descent OS 3.0.2 legacy version. With, oh, I've not finished. I'm nearly finished now. I'll quickly go to the browser for you. I'll just quickly go to his pages. I've actually put it as my main page here, as you can see. It's just telling you all I just said. His Pulse Audio is now the official default, which I've been on about for quite a while now, because it just makes things so much easier. Uh, unfortunately, some people say it doesn't work for them. You know what? I've never had a problem. No, never had a problem. Maybe once, and it was my fault, probably. Uh, Mate 1.4, yes, stable. Yes, it is Lubuntu Software Center, as I said. New theme mixes, driver fixes, yeah, that's all jockey for you. And as I said, he wants to do a 64-bit version and port it over. Which I think you'll see in the future, a lot of people will be doing a lot more 64-bit stuff. I don't know if you've noticed when you've seen stuff released, it first comes out in 64-bit versions. Unfortunately, this is 32, because uh, it runs better on this machine. I think the newer the hardware, the better it's going to work as a 64-bit version. If you've got an older machine that can run 64-bit, there's no guarantee it's going to work properly for you. But on the whole, it's super duper. So, Descent OS 3.0.2, yes, I'm finally finished. Legacy version. I'm going to give, you know, what should I give it? You know what? It's worth a 90. Lovely jubbly. Sneaky Linux out. See you later. Bye-bye.